everyone. This video is showing you how to estimate fractions in order to multiply. So we are going to be rounding these fractions to one of the following, okay? So we're going to either round it to a zero, a half, or a whole. And that only applies to this lesson. So if you're following along, we are in chapter 10, lesson two. Okay, so let's say we have the following equation. Let's say we have one third times 17. Now, in order to multiply, <clears throat> like we did in lesson one, we had fact families here. It was easy for us to divide these two numbers and get an even amount in each box, right? So we need to do the same. So what we're estimating is the whole number for now. And this is just this example, okay? We're gonna round the whole number to something that's compatible with three. So you need to think of your fact families. So three and two other numbers. I want a number close to 17 that's a fact family with three. What if I did 18? Three times what is 18? Six. So I'm gonna go ahead and round this 17 up to an 18. And now I'm gonna go ahead and do my multiplication steps using models, using that diagram, okay? So our whole was 18. And I want it broken up into three pieces because that's what the denominator is. So if I did three even pieces, now I need to figure out how much goes in each piece. By doing that, you take 18 and divide it by three, which would give you six. So six goes in each box. And then the numerator tells you the answer. I want to know the value of one of them. The value of one was six. And there you guys have it. That's how we estimate products of fractions, okay? Now, here's, um, here's what we're gonna do when we round to a zero, a half, or a whole. That's when we have two fractions that we're working with. So if we have two fifths and six sevenths. Okay, we're gonna round both of these. Think of a number line, okay? Two out of five, is that closer to zero, a half, or a whole? This is closer to a half. Six out of seven, is that closer to zero, half, or whole? That's closer to a whole. So my new equation is one half times one. Well, identity property, anything times one is itself. So the answer to this estimated is about one half. Let's go ahead and see another one of those. So if you haven't seen my lessons on how to round fractions on a number line, please check that out so that you understand how I'm rounding these fractions. Let's go ahead and do one by a whole number. Let's say we have one half times 25. So in this case, we're just gonna round the, this number out here. I want something divisible by two. 25 divided by two is not a fact family but I know that 24 is, so I'm gonna change this to a 24, and now I can go ahead and draw my model. So 24 is my whole. I'm gonna go ahead and break it up into two even pieces because that's my denominator, and now I need to divide them to see how much goes in each. 24 divided by two is 12, so 12 is the value of each box, and my answer is the numerator telling me I want the value of just one of them. The value of one is 12. So our estimated answer is about 12. Let's go ahead and do another one where we multiply and round both fractions. Let's say we have 7 eighths times 1 ninth. So in this case, you're gonna round both of the fractions to a whole number. It's either gonna be zero or we'll round to a half or to a whole, okay? Now, remember how we were doing this. If you think of a number line, seven eighths is gonna be way over here because it's almost to eight out of eight. So I know this is gonna round to a whole. And then one out of nine would be way over here because that's really close to zero out of nine. So this is gonna round to a zero. All right, anything times a zero is zero. So our estimated answer for this multiplication equation is zero. Now let's see another example here. Let's 
say I have the following. What if I have <clears throat> two and two thirds times three and one sixth? Actually, let's do this one. Okay, let's say I have seven and two sevenths times three and seven eighths. So we're doing the same thing. We're rounding fractions just like we were before, but we have these whole numbers attached to them. So don't hesitate. Remember, use a number line. Seven and two sevenths. Is that going to be closer to seven or is that going to be closer to an eight? Well, where would two sevenths go? Two out of seven would be way over here, right? So two, seven and two sevenths is gonna round to a whole seven. So I'm rewriting down here. And then three and seven eighths. Well, think about three and then the whole number four. Where would seven out of eight go? Seven out of eight is really close to eight out of eight or our four. So three and seven eighths is gonna round up to a four. And now we can just multiply. Seven times four is 28. All right, you guys, so you have what you need in order to estimate the products of fractions. Please make sure you watch it as many times as you need, and good luck.